Good morning guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling well, I'm quite nervous um, because the, the, the base is one thing, you get the base right on the decking and everything should follow through, follow through, everything should follow on, you know. This next part which I'm doing today is the visual part is what you're going to see so I really want to get this right and I've been sort of umming and ahhing and like oh god am I going to do it right but I'm just going to go for it, that's it, I'm just going to go for it and I'm putting the boards down today. Yes, I am, and I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm going to crack on with it, and yeah, hopefully uh, we should have some boards down by the end of today. I know I keep saying it, but things keep popping up, things keep putting me off. So yeah, today is the day. But first, what I've got to do, I've just realised, as I'm going along, I'm finding out new things that I need to do all the time. Thank God for YouTube, that's all I can say. The, the, the little black legs that I put, or the stops that I put underneath the, uh, the actual decking itself, Obviously, over time, well it's not obviously unless you don't know, over time the, the wood will warp slightly and it will raise and it will lower as it gets wet and as it dries. And what I need to do is attach the little legs to the wood. There's a little gap just here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw into here so it attaches to the wood. So that as uh, the wood rises slightly, the actual feet are still going to be attached to the base so that as it shrinks down again, it's going to, it's going to still have that um, little foot step to rest back on again now if I don't screw them to the the base there's a good chance as you walk on them is the there's a slightly rise they're gonna push that little leg out from underneath the decking so that when it does dry once it's been raining uh, there's gonna be nothing there to support it and then that's you know, get the bounce in the actual base so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go around attach all these legs feet to the base and then obviously find out any problems as I go along. I also found out I've not even attached, there's a board over here that I'm not even attached to the decking. So this is another good thing to go through. I've done this about four times. I've gone through each stage over and over again to make sure I've not missed anything because it's the first time I've done this. I think I've done pretty well, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Also the weatherman lied. He said it was going to be quite a little bit sunny today. It's miserable. So that's that done. Um, now I need to look at this this part here. Okay, so what I plan to do, this is going to come up and over the wall. But this is where the light strip is going to run under along here on top of the boards. But it's going to have a little bit of overhang for it to hide underneath. So I've got to figure out a way of coming up this wall and across. But this part is the main thing. That that overhang is for another day. It's just got to figure out how I'm going to do this to put the uh, so the boards can go up to it and underneath and then that's going to come over the top it never ends <sighs> okay so obviously this is the wall the, the decking's going to come up and over now I don't want it to be really touching the wall because of the moisture and over time it'll build up the condensation and uh, it'll just build up the moisture and probably make the wood rot so what I plan to do is um, attach running along all down this board here and the overhang will start here and these boards are going to run the full length of the overhang the reason why I'm doing this I'm going to put another board on the front of here the decking is going to run up to it then there's going to be a gap underneath so it's going to come up the board's going to run along here the decking board's going to run up the top and go over the top of the overhang but this little gap here is where the night light is going to sit so you'll see the light running across the decking but you won't see the actual light itself and I think it'll look pretty cool and it's Philips Hue as well so you can change the colour of the strip and I'll show you once I do it, hopefully it'll be today, the weather's not looking too good, I'm trying my best guys um, but it's about 5 metres long so it runs almost the full length of this um, decking and it looks amazing it looks so so good so i'm looking forward to doing that and showing you that but this is what i'm going to do now i'm going to attach this to this i'm not going to do these today this is just so i know where to start from i'm going to put these in intervals along the decking and put the board on the front so that when i do the decking boards i can then put the light under it and this is almost this is going to be completely done that's my plan of action Hopefully. <laughs> Hello, boy. 
You okay? I'm getting old. Only boy, yes, you are. Yes. Right, you gonna let me do this? Good boy. Go. But what I'm gonna do, um, when I put these boards on, I'm gonna put a slab underneath of it as well, so it's just an extra support. So this is gonna be flush with the bottom of this board. Um, put a slab underneath of it with a stopper underneath or a leg underneath of that so that, and the weight is also supported and it's not just supported by the screws that's screwed into this so it all adds to the stability and the strength of the actual um, the base because I'm not actually attaching this base to the, the house um, so the overhang with the legs that are concreted into the ground that will be a base a sort of a secure um, anchoring for the entire project and the weight of this is going to keep it down, it's not going to move anywhere. So that's flush to the, the base, just double check this. Spot on. Not going anywhere, so then when I come to do the base, that sits flush with this. And this will be the, the actual the top, the uh, the overhang. I think this looks kind of really good. When, when we get it done, really good. Um, I'm just nervous. I'm just nervous because I've never done it like this before, but it's coming along. So I put these posts in. Now they're not the exact height. I'm going to cut them down when we do the overhang. The reason why I've done them a little bit taller than they should be is just in case. Uh, where are we? This isn't level. Um, it's got to be pleasing to the eye. Boards are going to run this way, but they're going to run up. Okay, so they're going to be in segments coming along. But I need to make sure that it's not off slightly because you will see it really, really badly if it's just an inch off at this end and that end. So I've done them slightly higher so that I can cut them down to the right size once uh, we've got the, the fascia board on, the lights on, and then it's all gonna look flush as it comes out over the top of the overhang. But now I've gotta take this little one to a birthday party. Um, so we've gotta stop what we're doing. I will get some boards down on this today, I really will. What do you reckon, you think it's looking good? Yeah. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, it looks like real. Good once it's done, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm gonna take this to a little, little one to a party and then we're gonna get back and put the fascia board on, put the, the wires running for the electrics and the wires with the electrics and hopefully, hopefully we can put the boards on. I keep saying it, but as I'm going along, I'm finding little things that I need to do just to make it secure. You know, I don't want to put all the boards down and then a year down the line realize I've got to take them all up because I've done something wrong. So I'm fixing any problem I come across as I go along. I'm just, I, can't believe, I can't believe I'm nervous I'm doing this. It's just, I've never done it before. And I'm really want to get it right. Oh, that's a bit right. Overexposed. There you go. Right, guys. That's uh, that's little lady dropped off. Um, as you can see, I've got the. Where are we here? So they're in place. I'm going to put the fascia. But I'm not sure. That, should I put the board on front? I'm not too sure. No, I think I'm going to start laying the decking boards. That's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'll keep putting it off. But let's do this. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to start on this side first and work my way back. You leave about 25 mil at the gap between the, the wall and that's your first, the board, so that when it rains and it expands, it's got a bit of room and it's not going to sort of buckle and come away from the actual base. So, change of plan. This is where the steps are going to start. So, I'm going to put a board on here first with um, the same depth, which I think is 25 mil overhang at the top because the board's going to sit flush um, with this fascia board that's going to start off this, the steps. So as you can see I've got that board on. <laughs> I know I said to get some boards on but I'm going to try and get more on that on today but it's getting dark quick so I'm, I'm trying to get a move on. I'm going to have to do some tomorrow before I go to work but I've left a, a lip on the top. So the reason why I've done this is so that I can put this flush on here and that's that's the first part of the step and then the boards are going to run backwards. Uh, it's just so nowhere to work to, um, so it's all going to be running level. Let me just show you. Oh, Jesus Christ, hang on. So I've got one of these, it's called a, a Craig tool. Now these all come loose. So I've attached this to the, um, to this, whatever you call it, this, this tool thing. Um, you put it on the decking 
and where is it? So this comes with it, and it's got settings on the actual board. A few, one for your drill, and one for well, one for your drill and one for your driver. So obviously this is the drill. Put your drill bit on here, and it lines up, and it gives you the exact depth of where you need to be. Take your drill bit, put this on the actual decking board. You screw drill straight down and I'm not sure if you can see it's gonna hide the actual screw so drill through you're not gonna see the drill the drill hole and you get another driver bit so you take that off put your screw in and that screws that touches as far down as you can go which is really clever so I'm gonna give this a go see if it works now if anybody remembers the last time I did a video on something like this when I got something off the internet is a uh, trying to get dense, 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 whatever you call it, out of my car. It didn't go too well, but this looks quite good, so we'll give it a go, but it's getting late, so I'm gonna get as much as I can done today. I'm maybe get one or two boards on, because I've gotta go pick Macy up from her birthday party in a minute, drop her off home, but I'm probably gonna carry on tomorrow morning before I go to work, but I'm determined to get some boards down on this decking. a bit of a nightmare um, okay so when I brought that Krig tool that does the right angles for the uh, so you can hide the screws what I didn't know is that there's a special type of screw these are the screws I got with the decking these are fine and uh, you can't see them because there's nothing next to it these as you're trying to screw in as you can see where are we this bottom of the screw is going to catch that, so it's going to ruin all the board. After a bit of research, I looked on the site. The screws are totally different. These are the screws that we've got. These are what came, and you can see the head's bigger. I think these were designed to screw straight from the top. These other ones got a smaller head, so uh, it should be better. So as you can see, the, the screw's now sunken inside the wood, so from the top, you can't really see it. Um, whereas obviously this one it's a bigger end so it's you can't actually get down this side because it's catching this wood here and I'm not doing all this just to have the wood ruined I'd rather do it properly and take my time so guys I have been busy I have been really busy uh, I've seen the parts I've done the, the three boards here but what I didn't film because I wanted to get it done was How much I've done? Smashed it! Yeah? Obviously, I've still got all this to do. Um, but that's getting done some tomorrow and on Monday. <laughs> you enjoy it? Do you like it? Eh? Um, that's getting done tomorrow and Monday, so I'm going to stop the vlog now. But before you say, why has it not been stained or why has it not been treated? It's already got treatment on it. Um, I spoke to a couple of experts, the guys who sold me the wood, um, a couple of carpenters, and they've said, you've got two choices. Uh, you can either treat it literally straight away, as long as it's dry, and you've got time to dry, or you can leave it, which is the better option, for about four to five weeks, and it weathers, and it's supposed to look really, really nice, and also it's already got um, treatment on it. So you leave it to weather, and then it drains off over time all the treatment that's already on it. So that's what I plan to do. It looks amazing. I'm so chuffed. But guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take care. Um, have a good weekend. And I shall see you 
and I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>